Hello everyone, welcome to Quantum Guruji. So today in this video, I'll be talking about how to calculate the Weber bond length and how to analyze the output file. All those things I'll be talking in this video. So without doing any delay, let's get started. So previously in the my uh, earlier videos, I have already talked about how to do the NBO calculation for normal molecules and how to analyze those files. But here specifically, we'll be talking about the Weber bond indices. So the input file first will talk how the input file will look, look like. So this is about the checkpoint file, memory, processor, and this is the key, um, keyword that uh, you have to use. So this is the functional. So before doing for NBO, your molecule should be optimized uh, using whatever level you are using and the same level you have to use here. And if you don't know how to the, do the optimization of your molecule, just check out the video in my uh, link description link. I will put the uh, link of uh, geometry optimization and normal NBO. So this is the functional and this is the basis set here that you have to use. I'm using a general uh, like uh, gen basis set, which is not there in the version. So I have exported from the uh, other sources and I'll be using NBO 7. So since uh, I want to do the Weaver bond indices analysis also, so I'll be using NBO read, okay? Otherwise, simply I can give pop equals to NBO7. Fine. Now this is the, your name of your molecule, corresponding charge and multiplicities, and these are the coordinates. Since I have used gen keyword here, so these are the corresponding basis set details about that gen keyword. Once your detail is over, basis set detail is over, then give one space and put this dollar sign nbo space bnd ideals bond index space dollar sign and so this keyword you have to put after just the you know geometry uh, that your coordinates or if suppose in case if you have a uh, you know the basis set which is already available in the burst gen so we'll delete this um, you know gen basis set things and we'll, yeah, so fine. So if you you are not working with this gen, suppose, and you are working something, just for your, you know, just for time being. So this is your coordinates. Just after coordinates, give one space here, one empty line, and then give this keyword dollar and be your space bond index space dollar and and then put one more space and that is the input you know input for your uh, viewer bond analysis using nbo so this is for input once your calculation is over okay so in your, the output file so this is the output file you can open the output file and in the output file just look for we work bond index matrix okay that is based on the natural atomic orbital analysis and at the same time you also open this molecule because you have to look this matrix and pertaining the bond lines okay so this is the molecule i have taken here and also view the labels which is very very important fine now here you see this is the atom and these are the P1. P1 is what? First is phosphorus, right? And 2 is what? 2 is here. This is atom number 2 which is silicon, fine? So P12, so this is the P12 bond length, Weber bond indices. So if you see this, this 1, 2, 1, 2, this. This bond indices is 0 0.0899, means there is a weak interaction here, fine. Now this is, this is P and this is 3, means atom number 3 and phosphorus, this atom number 1, that is what, atom number 1 and atom number 3, 1, 3 is here, right. So they are bonded, nicely bonded here, this is carbon and this is your phosphorus, right, this is the sigma bond, right. So here if you see this Weber bond is indices here, this is 0 0.9169, that is the sigma bond, uh, bond order. 
sigma means single bond order fine and that less slightly lesser than one is corresponding to like that will be delocalized with some nearby orbitals and again you are having bond num uh, atom number 4 with phosphorus this phosphorus which is one and atom number 4 this one so this in this is 0.0261 fine similarly you can look for suppose you want to look for atom number 2 and atom number 4 that bond indices so atom number 2 is what this is the atom number 2 here and atom number 4 is here okay so the corresponding indices will be this one so for your 2 4 this is 2 and this is 4 so this is the weaver bond length for this bond fine suppose you want to find out the weaver bond length for this 2 41 fine so 2 is here and there is no 41 here so that will be down somewhere 18 27 36 yeah 41 is here 2 41 this one this will correspond to this 241 this bound uh, order so this is the way to read the you know uh, we were born length from the that matrix data given here uh, for any bond you can find out the bond length okay so wherever you see uh, the bond length is more than seven or uh, uh, more than seven or less than one it is for sigma bond order right if it is uh, more than one so that will be either partially delocalized double bond or you know localized double bond so just see uh, i will show you the you know partially delocalized double bonds also uh, we have here so if you see this so it is having a we were born in indices of 1.4177 which is atom number four and atom number five so atom number four and atom number five this this bond line so that corresponds to benzene, right? That is a delocalized, partially delocalized double bond. And it has a Weaver bond in indices of 1.477. Okay. So this is the way to analyze the Weaver bond indices from the output file of NBO analysis. If you have any doubt pertaining to this video, just put in the comment section. Okay. And uh, in the description, I will put these, uh, you know, the corresponding input for your, you know, and view these keywords i will put in the description if you have any doubt just put in the comment section thank you for watching the video